What are the trends that you see popping up this year? Oh, okay, well, color. We can talk about color first. You see the turquoise behind me. Yes. Lots of turquoise. It was very funny. This year we did the special, and I wore a turquoise wrap. The only reason I really wore the turquoise wrap was because what I had brought down to wear, I needed to wear like four inch heels. And my co host, who was darling, was a little bit shorter than I am. So the night before the good shoot. Good thing we're sitting. Go right, on. it's good thing. <laughs> so the night before the shoot, we ran out to like change outfits and I had on you know, some jeans and boots. So we, we reworked this wardrobe. Well, viewers loved it. And they started writing in, um, like, where did this turquoise wrap come from? So it's like taken on this whole life of its own. I just sent it um, to a blogger, and so they're going to do like a wonderful, fun little donation mm -hmm. um, with it. But it was turquoise, and that is the story of that turquoise. It starts became the color <laughs> of the year because of my wrap that I wore. Right. I'm taking credit for it. This Absolutely, <laughs> but you know, you, it's like home fashion. No, I like fashion. It. There's such it's a strong true. relationship, and you know, I, I thought We've it was all been cute. wondering where it's come from, right? You know? And it's, it's taken over the world. Yeah, starts in fashion. So it's a great story. I yeah, I think it. we all need a little turquoise. They say, you know, turquoise stands for compassion and healing and you know. Is there yeah. another color that we can look to? Yes, a plant. Different shades of deep purples. So it's gorgeous. Think Merlot, Cabernet, eggplant. And that's also beautiful with the whole gray story. And the, the eggplants work with any finish. They work with any of the chromes, any of the satin finishes, and also iron. What I'm seeing a lot of, and I don't know if you've noticed this too, but this real Belgian influence. Um, tons of whitewashed and limed finishes, very faded out woods, uh, very French inspired, old French walnut, I mean really like aged distressed pieces. But it's everywhere and I, I think we're just scratching the surface with it this Agreed. season. I think it's coming full west. I'm also seeing a lot of glam. Now despite, you know, the economic slump, glam does not seem to wane. It does not. No, I mean there's some amazing, amazing acrylic lucite tables. It's actually brought in, you know, over scale. Which is very glam and very fun. Um, expensive. <laughs> Indeed, which is leading into my next question with how can a regular home incorporate a little bit of glam? Keeping those glossy surfaces that always works. Um, punches of white. We're still seeing a lot of white furnishings out there and that always you know, lends itself to glam. What style do you personally need to wear? Um, I'm uh, more traditional. Uh, I collect antiques. I've got a lot of French, English, a little Italian. Um, traditional but very light. Lots of sisal. My whole house is like 50 shades of beige. Mm. Do you like white? I like white too. Yeah. Should we wrap our sofas in white? Um, you should wrap your sofas in white if you do not have children. And I don't care if you have you have a slip cover and you're like, I have kids, I have a slip cover. I have kids and I have a slip cover. Okay, do you like cleaning it and ironing it? I hate it. it. You hate it, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's such a great idea and it, it but I, I have washed and impressed so many slip covers for our shows. I'm like, I, I would, no. It gives you the crazies. It gives me saying. the crazies, trying to get it back on and shrink it. And I love all of the lacquered white mm -hmm. pieces and even some of the inexpensive back laminates. Glam. Mm -hmm. I know it's fun. I mean, glam, the, glam seems to be an easy look to pop into. It's true. Different spaces, like one piece of glam. I think it's a little bit easier than the um, industrial, maybe. Yeah. And the super modern. Because the glam is so shiny. It's like you can always, like, I think it's easier to bring in one shiny piece than it is to bring in a, a, a doll or piece. <laughs> and make it look chic. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, you know, I'm from Chicago. I, I, I'm a little more traditional. I <laughs> can tell. <laughs> but I, I do love my Canadians. My mom's from Winnipeg. We are lovable. I was engaged to a, a French Canadian. I, 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 she knows the Canadian. I, and I know the verse to your national anthem. I'm not going to sing it right now, but I know them. So, and to my people, my cousins, <laughs> right here, right here. Monica Peterson, not Peterson. Peterson. Peterson.